Hi crafty folks, Amy here with Amy's Wares and today I'm going to do some 3D embossing on vellum. So let's jump right in. I recently acquired this new thick vellum. I will link that and all the other products that I used in the video description box below, but I have a 3D embossing folder from Alta New. And here are a couple photos of the finished cards that I was able to batch. Um, I embossed this thick vellum and turned it into four different sympathy cards. Now this vellum I recently discovered by watching a video from Tiffany Solorio. She did a comparison on various different thicknesses of vellum and it was super helpful and I went and bought this vellum right away to give it a try. So you can see here, I'm actually gonna show you two pieces um, I'm going to emboss the one just as is, and then I'm going to emboss by spritzing it with water. This was something that she did. Um, I have done some other comparisons on my own. I'm not sure the order that I'll be releasing this video, but um, I'm going to show you and talk to you about some other comparison information that I kind of gleaned from this. Now, both of them embossed beautifully. I think there's some more striations than the one that didn't have water spritzed on it, but overall a very minuscule difference. I think it could help um, allow the vellum to kind of take to the design a little bit. So if you have an embossing folder that's maybe a little iffy, then maybe try spritzing it spritzing your vellum with water um, and this is something that Tiffany also mentioned in her video and I will link her video in the video description box below if you expand and scroll down you can check that out um, but basically I wanted to try a couple different things here so oftentimes with vellum what people struggle with is how to attach the vellum onto their project because with it being clear you can see the adhesive underneath so i took this half sheet of um, vellum this new thick vellum and i put some two-way stick tape on the back this is a six inch roll from scrapbook.com and i did put that all over it and then cut these into two a2 size panels so that's us a2 um, four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, so these are substantially thicker than just the vellum, but I am doing the same thing. I'm spritzing one and not spritzing the other to see if there's any sort of real difference. And I'm running them all through the same whimsical bouquet um, 3D embossing folder. So these you can see they're they're thicker white color because they still have the backing on and I'm going to make a couple card bases real quick with this Hero Hues sand cardstock. It's a beautiful smooth hundred pound cardstock. It's plenty thick enough for a card base. So here you can see it actually cut into the backer a little bit from the pressure of the embossing but overall it applied this even adhesive all the way over it. So you're not going to see glue, you're not going to see adhesive tape, Look at this. No, <laughs> it stuck down when I wasn't ready for it to, and it kind of, um, yeah, crisis averted. I was able to pull it off somehow, but I bent the vellum a little bit, but you couldn't see it when all was said and done. So um, I'm attaching this down directly onto this card base of sand cardstock. I'm going to do the same thing here. So again, between the water and no water in this case, not really seeing much of a difference. On um, the two panels where I didn't do the adhesive, um, like I said, there was a little bit, maybe a little bit more striations. Now I will say there was one of these panels, I can't remember which one, I'll show it to you in a moment, it did crack a little bit. So um, what I found when I kind of compared these is that some of the embossing folders were, will crack and some won't. Now this wasn't too bad and I do think the thicker the vellum, it's probably definitely gonna work better, like Tiffany said, in any embossing folders. So just bear that in mind, there's gonna be some trial and error. Some embossing folders are gonna work better than others, but I will go into more detail on that other comparison video, so be sure to watch for that. Now here I'm shopping my sentiment book. This is my storage solution um, to have a bunch of components ready to go, but as you saw, I didn't actually even end up using them. I busted out this beautiful Sympathy Greetings Mix stamp from Simon Says Stamp. If it's still available, I'll link it below, but it is my favorite Sympathy stamp set. There is such a beautiful ver uh, variety of stamps um, in the set, and I find myself reaching for it all the time. So I have this gray ink. I wanted it to be kind of soft and, you know, not too contrasty with a deep black. So I'm just going to stamp this four times after I, you know, drop it all over the place and try and ink up the pad with the cap of the ink pad and 
all sorts of things. I'm, I'm a picture of grace. But anyway, I stamp it four times, and then I'm just going to cut them out by hand. You can absolutely use a paper trimmer. I'm going to pop these up with my thin foam strips. I get these from Amazon um, just to kind of get some dimension. But overall, otherwise, other than the dimension of the embossing and these little... Um, sentiment strips it's going to be pretty flat and easy to ship so this is subtle subdued kind of calming it's got the pretty um, elements from the embossing I feel like these would be gorgeous for a wedding card or like a wedding shower um, really versatile um, it's always fun to kind of use up the vellum because I oftentimes neglect it and don't think about it so I was excited to get this this new thicker kind to see if it kind of allows me to branch out and use it in new ways so this I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach it to this colored card base. I got my Judy tool there. My friend Judy sent me that. Um, but basically I'm attaching with foam tape onto the vellum and then I'm gonna hide the glue behind it. So think about ways to hide your liquid glue to attach a panel down onto your card base without the glue showing. So just be a little clever. My glue is super clogged up here. I'm not sure what happened. But um, basically I'm hiding the main part of the adhesive down behind and then I'm kind of putting glue dots where I know I'm gonna wanna put blingage. So this will attach it down securely to the card base but it's gonna kind of still leave diagonal corners loose. So it kind of gives it that pretty whimsy feel that you can get with your vellum um, by allowing different components to not be attached flat. And then you can see my glue really kind of mushed down. I probably did little dollops that were too big. So do little tiny dollops, and then it won't mush so big. And then you can kind of cover them up with your sequins. So now I'm going to come back with more liquid glue over where you can kind of see the glue underneath, and then just cover them with my blingage. So there's convenient or, sorry, kind of tricky ways that you can hide your adhesive. Um, if you didn't want to do the two-way stick tape, you can use your vellum, just kind of find ways to hide it under either your sentiment or your blingage. So these dots are a little bit smaller. Again, same thing. I'm just using my sequins to cover up where the glue is. But honestly, with the kind of texture of the 3D embossing, it wasn't very super evident anyway, especially if I would have hit it underneath, you know, where the flowers are, I don't even think you would have been able to see it. So now I have four sympathy cards in my stash ready to go, which sadly I've been needing a lot of them lately. So I decided to kind of, you know, make some more. You can see it's really secure. The liquid glue is holding it down, even though it's got some loose corners, which is really pretty and flowy. And then on the craft ones, you can see they're, you know, stuck down directly on the card base. So do I recommend this new thicker vellum? Absolutely. I will link it below. Um, I'm also excited to use it just for points where my thinner vellum maybe wasn't quite thick enough. Um, but you can absolutely try whatever vellum you have. Try your different um, embossing folders. I kind of feel like the florals do better maybe than the geometrics, but trial and error. Just use what you have, have a play, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.